Hello and welcome. In this lecture series, we are going to learn how to integrate Oracle Integration Cloud with BIP report in Fusion instance. To begin with, first of all, we have to create a BIP report. For that, we have to log into our Fusion instance. Click on the hamburger menu on the left top corner. Go to Tools, Expand, Reports and Analytics. From this window, we need to click on this Browse Catalog. And we are into the BIP report catalog dashboard. There are two folders available. Whatever we create in my folder is not a shared space, so we cannot. So the user who has been, who is trying to access the BIP report with different username or the credentials will not be able to access the files. Whatever we create the BIP report or data models in the shared folder will be visible across the team, across the instance. Now let me create a BIP report, simple BIP report, so that we can demonstrate how to call a BIP report using SOAP web service from Oracle Integration Cloud. Expand this shared folder. Go to customs. Here we need to create a folder by click. We can create a folder by clicking on this arrow button. Create, click on folder. Here we can give the name learning underscore BIP. Click on OK. Our folder has been created. Click on the expand. If you see over here, our path location for the BIP report is slash shared folder slash custom slash learning. As we don't have anything over here, to begin with creating a report, first of all, we have to create a data model. Click on this new button and select the data model. Once the data model creation page opens up, click on the plus icon, select the SQL query. There are a bunch of options available based on which we have to create the data sets. We have to, in this case, I'm going for SQL query demonstration. So click on this, select the data source. I'm selecting FSCM, give the name as learning DM. To begin with, I'm giving a simple SQL query to fetch the date from Dual. Once done, click on OK. Go to data, click on view. A sample data would be generated. Go to the table view. This is a, just a simple query in case if you are trying to access data from fusion tables, then you will have humongous data separated by a lot of rows and the columns. Now we have to f save this as a sample data in order to create the report. Once done, we have to click on this catalog button available over here. We need to save this first before leaving the page. Click on this save button and click on the catalog. I'm saving this under my created shared folder that is learning BIP. As you see over here, the path is shared folder custom learning BIP. Give the name learning underscore BIP underscore DM. That is data model. Click on OK. Okay, our DM got saved. Click on catalog. Our next job is creating a report out of that. So once again, we are into this catalog page and we are in our learning BIP report folder over here. And our DM is visible over here, which we created just now. Now click on new, click on reports. Creator this is asking what data model it has to use to create the report. Click on search button and select the DM. Uh, we have selected our DM that is learning BIP underscore DM, keeping everything as default. If you are unable to see this next button, just minimize the browser window size. Click on next, keeping this default to table. We can have a chart report, chart and pivot table, two charts and table, etc. I want a basic table because I want to consume this report from the Oracle integration cloud. So I want the data to be report data to be transformed to a CSV file. Click on next. Once the page loads, we have to drag and drop what column we want to have in a report as we have selected the tabular table form of report. If you are fetching the data from uh, fusion tables, then you will have you can see the lot of column names over here which we can drop from the list. As we have only one column, I'm dragging and dropping this date. Click on next, click on finish, and save this as. Report REP.
once done it will show the report sample report click on this actions button over here go to edit report and go to view as a list from the drop down output format we have to uncheck all those format types powerpoint excel everything and we have to select this data csv as we want our output to be available in csv because it will ease the it will make the job easy to read from oracle integration cloud if the data we get from in csv format also we can uh, transform the data in uh, xml format which are which is also possible to read in oic okay so for simplicity purpose i'm keeping it as csv once done click on save we are done so in our next video i'm going to show you how to consume this report using soap web service and also how we can make use of that soap web service and consume create a connection and consume the report data in our oracle integration cloud please check out the video thank you for watching this video please do like comment and subscribe the channel